Chloe! Hey! What are you doing? Someone could have seen you. You gotta be a good hider, otherwise the bad guys will find you. Sorry, Dad. Six Monroe Street. My birthday mm -hmm. is March 9th. 10th? March 10th. Can I stir? Yeah, but um, keep practicing. Okay. That's my mom, Nancy Lee. Her birthday is always 10th. Is she really gonna love me? That's why we're paying her. That's my sister, Harper. Harper. Her birthday's June 13th. She snores. <laughs> Where'd you get that? I thought we were going with, uh, with puppies. It's true, Dad. She snores. Good job, Chloe. That is something a sister would say. Partners? Partners. <laughs> If I don't come back, I go to my closet. Yeah? And then what? If I run out of food, I go across the street, tell Steve and Nancy that I'm Eleanor Reed, and I give them the whole shebang if they take care of me. Let's go over the old classics, shall we? A. A is for apple. Apple is a red fruit that you eat, and it is delicious. You ever seen a green one? Yes. Okay, good. What's B? B is for baseball, a game played between two teams of nine players who run in circles around a diamond-shaped field. Chloe, what's your favorite sport? I've never played a sport. Bang! You're dead. That's not fair. You never asked me that before. You don't know the answer to something? You just make it up. You go... I don't know. I love all sports. That's lying. Yes. You need to lie to be normal. How much money do you think is right there? Well, these are hundred dollar bills, so like a couple thousand. More than that. No, I'm not sure myself. <laughs> okay. I raise 10. Can we have ice cream after dinner? You know we don't have any ice cream. When are you going? Not for a while. I was hitting the store too much. I can't wait till I'm normal. Think you're gonna call my 10 or not? You're bluffing. Try me. All way. I miss the river. You win. You're getting good under pressure, staying calm. That's good. Says bleed too. Are my eyes gonna bleed someday? I hope not. But if they do, you're gonna let me know, right? Right. You're gonna say, hey dad, my eyes are bleeding. What the heck? Yeah. Alright, now collect your million dollar jackpot. <laughs> Alright. Ah, make sure you get the ones in the back. I did. Well, you know, last time I tried, you burned my phone. 
Oof. There are knots in your hair. Oh. Ow! Oh. All right, time for breathing. All right. Close your eyes. Nice, deep breaths. In, exhale. In. You're not normal! You're not normal! <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny, Queen. You need to practice this. It looks funny. Yeah. You gotta practice this. It's important. And if I don't, I'll go to the mountain? What are you talking about? Nothing. I never taught you about the mountain. So you must have talked to someone. Did you go outside? No. Did you go through daddy's junk mail? Is that where you learned about the mountain? No. Chloe, Chloe, Chloe. This is not a game right now, okay? You can never lie to me. I'm not lying. imagined it. Ghosts aren't real. Stay with me. I'm scared. Okay. But I can't fall asleep again. Too much time goes by outside when I'm asleep. I can only protect you when I'm awake.
Mr. Snowcon. I brought you ice cream. Is it chocolate? Yes. doing here? Huh? I brought Chloe some ice cream. How do you know her name? How do you know her name? Huh? Huh? Harper? What are you doing here? You know better than to knock on strangers' doors. I am sorry about that. I don't know, I don't know why she came over here. No, not at all. Not at all. All right. Bye-bye now. Is this your daughter? Oh, we should go. We gotta go. Hi. Hi, I'm Nancy. You're beautiful. Oh, my goodness, she's a sweetheart. And she looks so normal. Eleanor, go back inside. Come on, Eleanor, go back inside. Harper called you Chloe. Was that Nancy? For real? How did she know your real name? Have you been going outside? Have you been going outside? No. Punishment for breaking the rules. Time we out. We almost got ice cream. You opened the door. You almost got us killed. Truck, and I give kids ice cream all around the world. Boom, 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 boom. Oh no, there's a giant. Here's Harper. She likes chocolate ice cream. What are you doing in my room, Chloe? Shh, you can't call me that. I'm supposed to be Eleanor. 
Will you play a game with me before Dad wakes up? You're so annoying. Why do you always wake me up in the middle of the night? You can play at the park like normal people. You're allowed to play outside with other kids? Aren't you scared of the bad guys who want to kill you? No. Everybody does it. It's fine. It's not fair that you have a mom and I don't. Will you pretend to be my mom? Ew. Why are you so weird? That's gross. Come on. No. Be my mom. 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 Okay, fine. I'll be your mom. Say you love me. I love you. Mom, I want to go outside. Am I allowed? Yes, you can go outside. Thanks, Mom. Now, let's cuddle and sleep. Sorry I yelled at you. Mom said I could go outside. Chloe. She said I could go to the ice cream truck. You want to know what's in an ice cream truck? What? Frozen kid bodies. Not true. They kill kids and then they freeze them to eat later. I want to go anyway. You're not normal enough yet. You'll die if you go outside. It's not fair. Harper gets to go to the park and I don't. If I get you ice cream, will you shut up about this? Yes. I'll get you a whole bucket if you never open that door ever again. I promise. Will you get it for me today? Fine, I need new supplies anyway. Yay! Thank you, Daddy. It's okay. Most of this is their blood. Whose blood? What happened? Don't worry. I'll be all right. I just gotta be more careful. I can't be leaving the house for stupid, non-essential... <coughs> Got the ice cream. What? Don't you realize I almost just died? I'm going to the grocery myself. Chloe! You see what happens when we go outside? When am I going to live with Nancy? Change of plan. What? We have to stay hidden. Till when? Till when?
Well, looky here. What can I do for you, young woman? Are we safe? Safe? Safe from what? The people who want to kill us. Nobody's gonna kill you if I'm around. Can I have ice cream? Sure. But what flavor, Chloe? Chocolate. Wow, a hundred bucks. You can buy a shitload of ice cream for a hundred bucks. Is that a lot? I mean, is it a lot? You could buy any flavor you wanted with that. Really? Yeah. Come around back. Come inside. And taste any flavor you want. I'm not allowed. Oh, come on. Hey, you never have to do what your dad tells you again. Take a look around. Are there frozen kid bodies in there? It's an ice cream truck. Come on, I gotta go. There's other kids that have to have ice cream too, you know. But I'd love to have a big girl like you helping me out. You could actually make some of the ice cream. Here. Looky here. Are you going to the park? That's exactly where I'm going. So come on. He bleeds like my dad. Well, no, they just put that on him. That's like makeup. That's just because they want to scare the hell out of everybody. You ever bleed from your eye like that? No. You're not lying to me, are you? That's too bad. Anything special? Higher! How about when you're scared? Anything weird ever happen? Even higher! I want to touch God! I want to touch outside of the universe! Okay, real high. Okay, out of the universe, here you go. Maybe you can fly! Go higher! Oh, wait, no! Stop pushing! Higher. Stop! That's too high! Now jump! I'm scared! Jump! Stop! Jump! Let me oh, jump. have some courage. Come on, Chloe. Jump out of the swing. I'm Come on, jump out. Come on, show some courage. Here. What do you mean you're scared? It's okay. Don't you understand? Come here. It's okay. How? What's the matter? Does that hurt? Yes. Does it make you mad? Yes. Now, what happens when you really get mad? I take deep breaths to calm down. Is there anything that you can do that other people can't do? Well, I've never met any other people. Well, you know what's happening? Your dad is turning you into a pussy. You can't do that. You gotta be strong like your mom was. You knew my mom? Everybody knew your mom. Your mom was famous. What's famous? 
famous means she had special gifts, just like you. And everybody who knew her was scared to death of her, except the people who loved her. And then she died? You may not know this, but in a land far away from here, there is a big, evil, dark mountain. I've heard of the mountain. Yeah. Well, your mom and I went to that mountain together, and we tried to destroy it. And just as Hey, we... what's going on here? Is everything okay, little girl? It's okay, bud. Actually, we're getting ready to leave. <laughs> Come on. I want to go home. Do you know this man? No. She's my granddaughter. Is this your grandpa? No. She jokes like that all Shut the up time, for a second. Bud. Let me see your eyes. Why? You know why. Oh, my God. Who is that? He's a bad man. He's going to kill us. Hey, I'm not done talking to you. Yeah. No, it's cool, bud. You know the people that want to kill us? That's him. That's him. Shut up. No, don't kill us. I'm not going to hurt you, sweetheart. Just come here. You don't need to point the gun at us. We, we're leaving. Hey. No, he killed your mother. Hey, step away from the girl. Make him go away. I said shut up. Get rid of him. Now. Go away. Let me see your eyes, old man. Go away. Look, I said come here now, go kid. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Special girl, and you and I are gonna do big things together. Now let's go home. Come on. All officers on alert. Abnormal child reported at Peachtree Park. ADF has been notified. Repeat, all officers on alert. You did good. Very good. Who's that? That's your mommy. My daughter. She looks like an angel. Yeah, she sure does. Just like you. I have a dream. To get her back. And I'm gonna get her back. She's dead. Well, sometimes angels can come back to Earth. Can I have it? No. It's the only picture I have of her, and I like to keep it so I can look at it every day. No, oh, come on. Eyes. No, I'm here. Take it back. It's a rental. Just don't get boogers and all that crap out of your nose and stuff on it, okay? Okay. You see, your dad has to be asleep. So, I have a present for you. When you hear the music from my truck, you put this in dad's food, and he'll go out. Like magic? <laughs> That's exactly right. That's what it is. It is magic. Take it. And you know what else? You, madam, are not going to have to hide much longer. Me. 
I'm sorry I didn't get you any ice cream. I'll go out and I'll get you some tomorrow. I don't care about ice cream. Can I color too? No. the back people. They won't hurt me. What are you talking about? I'm gonna go live with Nancy. Wait, Chloe. I want a mom. You had a mom. You are not gonna be like her. She died because she broke the rules. She didn't break the rules. She was special. And I'm special. Don't say that again, okay? I'm special. I'm special. I'm special. I'm special. I can feel we're not special! Don't say that again, okay? I hate you. You're not my dad anymore. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to protect you. You're a liar! I'm not lying to you. I'm so sorry. Get out of my room! Who are you? Chloe. You're not real. You're Get this out of here Look how you are! That's why you came to town today, because of reports of a full-blooded minor, is that correct? Yes, there was an interesting report. As you know, abnormal minors are my particular area of interest. I can't help but notice. You use the term abnormals as opposed to the more widely used freaks. Is that a political statement? I believe it's important for the ADF to try to normalize relations with the abnormal community. Abnormal community? By definition, any freaks who are running loose are illegal. 
Declaring a group of people illegal doesn't make them go away. It makes them go underground. They're forced to defend themselves and survive. Well, to your point, the Amnesty Act gave freaks an opportunity to peacefully relocate to Madoff Mountain. So, the ones who continue to hide in our cities, they're breaking the law, are they not? I believe in relocation and termination. Abnormals are dangerous and we can't let them live free. But I don't believe they are born evil. Everyone knows their abilities increase generation by generation. Their children are defined as living weapons of mass destruction. Isn't culling them as children the most humane approach? But I just... I mean, the last time freak children were loose, we lost Dallas. Just imagine, if we could raise an abnormal child ourselves, teach him or her how to be good, with guidance a child like that would be a powerful tool in our arsenal. I can't wait to live with you, Harper, and have a normal family. We're really going to be sisters. Your mom is going to love me. doing here this is my room no it's my room who the hell let you in here I'm going to live with you now who in the world is this she's a weirdo who lives across the street I'm not a weirdo I know how to be normal are you friends with a freak she's not my friend I'm not a freak she's just messed up in the head because she doesn't have a mom <laughs> She's such a freak. Freak, 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 freak. I'm not a freak. freak, freak and I do have a mom. Freak, she's a ghost freak, and she's famous and she lives freak, in my closet. I've been gone. It's only been a few months and you you were a baby and now you're how did you get so big? Chloe, how did you get in here? I opened the door. And your dad? Where, where is he? He's sleeping. He's always tired. Why do you live in my closet? I don't, Chloe. I want to be with you all the time. you're dead. 
I'm ready for my new mom, but dad says I can't have her. Your new mom? Nancy. She lives across the street and she makes cookies. doing down here? I saw mom. She lives in my closet. This is my alone time. She said I should get a new mom. She said you should move on. Stop making stuff up. I'm going to live with Nancy. I can be normal. Stop! Chloe! It's gotten into you! I wish you would die. Someday they will kill me. You'll be on your own. And you'll regret saying that. I'm sorry, Daddy. I made your special juice. Thanks. I'm sorry, too. Partners? What's this? What are you trying to poison me?
Whoa, where are you going? Oh, my God. Here, whenever you feel you cry, you must wipe that tear away. It's a dead giveaway, OK? What's that? She got my new mom. Your new mom? What are you talking about, your new mom? Nancy Reed. Oh, come on, I got a better idea than that. What? Real mom. Get in the truck. Now! Getting close. She'll be here in a few minutes. Now. Showtime. I don't want to be here. When you go inside, you don't say anything. Why? Just don't open your mouth. You're scaring me. Did your dad ever tell you the story of the unicorns? Well, in a forest or nearby, there was a whole big family of unicorns. And one night, a pack of snarling wolves came into the forest and grabbed the mommy unicorn and took her away. And the daddy unicorn, who had a weapon right here, chose not to use it. He wanted to hide. He wanted to be a peaceful unicorn. Well, the next night, the wolves came back and they ate the daddy unicorn. Then what happened? The baby? She's left alone, doesn't know what to do. She knows that she's supposed to hide because that's what the dad did. And so she thought, if I do that, then I can live peacefully in the forest. But you know what happened? There are no more fucking unicorns. Hiding is out. Excuse me, Agent Ray. Um, could I have a word with you for a minute? Sorry, I don't have time right now, Father. I have something to tell you, and I need to tell it to you uh, privately. Watch the door. May we? Please. <clears throat> My name is Father Tom Finnegan. And you and I share a common dream. What dream is that? Well, this little soul here needs your protection. And we need you to take us to Matic Mountain. <laughs> Seven years ago, a newborn was laid on the steps of my church with a note, a prayer to keep her safe. I knew right then I might have an abnormal. Who made you think that? Well, it was right at the beginning of the relocation riots. You remember that? They were rounding up every freak they could find. I had suspicions, but I raised her all by myself. Look at me. Do you mind, Father? Please. You just admitted to a federal crime. I know what I did, ma'am. 
But I also knew if I raised her in the light of the Lord and taught her to love, that she might never be a freak at all. I'm not a freak. I'm normal. Look, um, it's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. You don't need to pretend. I'm not pretending. What's your name, sweetie? Noah Marie. I'm seven and a half and I like baseball. My dad is Stephen Reed. Oh, he likes on. fishing, but he's not you very good at it. You can give it up. You don't have to do it. I just told you I'm not going to tell you two and three times every time. Her dad? She doesn't have any parents. I raised her by myself. I do so. My mom is Nancy Reed. Her birthday is August. Cut it out. I'm going to have to make a call. No, but before you do, there is one condition. You have a condition. <laughs> Forgive me, but I have to stay in her life so I can continue to nurture her. Therefore, you got to take both of us to Matic Mom. I'm not going anywhere with her. I'm not a freak. Hey, come back here. You scared her. Not your fault. Copy that. On our way. Don't ever do that to me again. Never wimp out on me. Why are Never. you doing this? You have no idea how hard it was for me to get that picture scheduled. I'm not a freak. I'm normal. Oh, no, no. It's cool. I, I didn't hear anything. Hey, maybe you're a freak. Maybe you're not a freak. I don't care. That, that's not my business. It's OK. It's OK. It's OK. It's OK. What are you afraid of? Nothing. Uh, could I borrow your pen? Uh, yeah, of course. Absolutely. Disappear. God damn it! Shit! Is that man gonna be okay? No, he's dead. That's what happens when they find a special person like us. You're dead, period. You know, they always fed us this crap about Matic Mountain was gonna be a new home for us and a a place where we could be independent. It's a goddamn death trap. Why did you want to live there? We didn't want to live there. We had to get inside it. The only way to get inside was to pretend we wanted to go there. I'll be goddamned if I'm gonna let anybody, including you, get in the way of me saving my daughter. But she's dead. I don't understand. Well, you don't really have to understand. You're seven years old, for Christ's sake. And you, you have to allow me to teach you to use your powers now. I don't want to. I'm giving Nancy the whole shebang to take care of me. No, you're not. You're not giving her that money. We're going home to my apartment. Take me home. What? Take me home. 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 Take me home! Get out of my goddamn head! Take me back now. Uh, uh, all right, I'll take you back. Oh, I can't handle you anymore. No, Daddy. 
What do I have to do to make you listen? Let me go! Let me down! Let me go! Let me go! Chloe! You're special too, Daddy? It's so hard to protect you. I created a time bubble around our house to keep you safe. It worked, as long as I could stay awake. For the rest of the world, it's only been a couple of months since they killed Mom and we started hiding. But for us, inside the house, you grew up years. Everything is changing so fast. I wish I could stop time permanently. But I can't keep you in the bubble forever. I'm ready. What are you doing here? Is everything okay? This has to happen now, Steve. Um, you know, we're actually right in the middle of dinner. I brought dessert. Okay. Okay, yes. Come on in, come on in. Uh, honey, we have guests. <clears throat> Eleanor. Mom, why is she here? Hi. I'm Eleanor Reed. I'm seven and a half and I like baseball. Oh, sweetie, are you hungry? Come on, sit down. I'll get you some food. Oh, okay. Are you joining us too? <clears throat> no. You are supposed to give us more notice. It's only been a month. We haven't even told after today, you're never gonna see me again. You'll get one of these every month, as long as you don't call the ADF. Please take good care of her. Okay. I'm Elmer. My birthday's March 9th, and I live about seven to a six from North Creek. That's where we live. Wait, wait, wait. Harper, <clears throat> how would you feel if Eleanor stayed with us for a little while? Her? Yes. No. No, she's weird. Harper. Sweetie, why are you being like this? I see her in my room at night. She makes me do things. Oh, well, that's, that's Wait, impossible. Kind of She's things? never left the Wait, house until mean, today. What do you mean, She crashed my slumber party. Okay. She forces me uh, to... Uh, she's just a regular kid. She's a freak! Okay. All right, you know what? She <laughs> makes me hug her and kiss her at night. What? Maybe we need some more time to decide. This is just... Uh, uh, Nancy, 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 please. I think we just need to get We can't afford to, to say no, Nancy. Yes, we can we afford can't. to. Yes, we can. Yeah, if that is our daughter, I'll okay, make sure she's safe. She said, she's I knew she was a freak, but not her. Honey, no, honey, honey. No, do just, not tell me just, that. Don't can say we calm down for don't one say, second? Just let's calm down for one second, please. Eleanor, you're fine, right? Everything's all right. You're my dad, Stephen. You like to fish, but you're not very good at it. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, Sure. Love you. Do you love me, Mom? You know what? I'm 
I'm sorry, this is all a bit sudden. I just need a little bit more time. I think it's time for you to go, and we'll discuss this later. I just need a little bit more time. We had a deal. You know, our deal involved. Tell me you loved Our deal was that she was basically normal. Hey, no. We had a deal. Yeah, when you think our deal was really that she was not a freak. Tell me you, know, you love me. I think we should both go so this doesn't get out of hand. Please, just Tell me you love me. Nancy, can we think about this for Tell me you love me. I love you. 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 I love you, sweetie. I love you. Oh, my sweet little girl. You were supposed to tell me when your eyes started bleeding. What did she do now? Shut up, Alan! What do you mean, shut up, Alan? No, please! I can't trust you anymore to follow the rules and stay safe. You can't do that to people. I promise I'll listen to you. I won't go outside. How long have you known? What the hell do you think you're gonna do? Lock her up forever? I'm keeping her safe from you. Oh, for Christ's sake, in a shit bag like this, you're not awake all the time like you say you are. But that's stuff with your bullshit. It happens to be exactly what we've been waiting for, asshole. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Shh. It's okay. Up in the sky, there's the sun between the clouds they sing their love will always be here with me right of course sweetheart even after they kill me I'll be right here Upstairs. So finally, you are gonna pay. No! Chloe! Oh, shit! I said stay in the closet. They're taking mom away! Your mom's dead. She's not dead yet! Let me out! Let me out! You have to follow the rules! Yeah. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have done that. Are you okay? <coughs> Say something. Okay. 
coming back. Hey. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I was just scared. I shouldn't have done that to you. Where's mom? What did you see, dear? Don't start. What do you mean? If she had a vision of Mary, I gotta know it. How could she have a vision of Mary if Mary's dead? Alan. She's not dead yet. She's in the mountain. What? Look, when I found out that she wasn't dead, it was too late because you'd already taken off with a kiss. Jesus Christ! I thought she was dead. You left her there! No! I barely got out myself. And you know what? They're gonna kill done her. This thing together she from needs the help. very beginning, it could make a difference. But you had to blame me like you do everything. Yeah, of course I blame you. You forced my wife to go on a suicide mission. She's my daughter! You left her there. It may have only been a few months for you, Alan, but I've been in this house for seven fucking years! Well, that's your problem, you're fucking nuts! You can't go crazy on me. We need to be partners. Maybe we can get her out. Maybe we can get her out. I have tried again and again and again while you're in here digging around and taping up mail slots or whatever the hell you're doing. No, I'm not talking about one of your ridiculous ideas. The only way you're going to get in there is if they let you in. And the only way they will let you in is with her. Oh, Chloe's going to have nothing no, to do Chloe with it. No, Chloe is going to do it. Dad. Are you insane? I'm not Dad. insane. I'm telling the truth. You've never accepted the truth. There's only one way in there, and that's with her. Face it. She gets us in, which gets Mary out. Dad! What? A wolf is here. And when do we get the reward? When we verify their status, you'll be well taken care of. Okay, and you'll take them to the Matic Mountain? I can't have them coming back here. They'll know it was me. Matic isn't set up to handle abnormal children. Too risky. Besides, since Mary Lewis tried to blow the place up a few months ago, they've kept it mostly empty. Now, suspects only make it there if they don't resist. And they usually resist. Good. That little freak does things to my daughter at night. You can't hide this little girl on your own anymore. I gotta help. Come on to my place. I got it all figured out. No. Well, then go out there and take care of your shit. I don't kill anymore. Well, I suggest that this might be the perfect time to get over that phobia. Because if this man orders a strike, we're done. We're dust. Get that? Hello? Is, sir, is everything okay? you've done what I've done Chloe saved us she saved us come here honey get out no Alan let me go let her go let me go where are you you invisible asshole let her go See you again, I'll kill you, you piece of shit!
are you? Where are you? Is he killing you now, Mommy? Device is armed, ready to begin procedure immediately. Go ahead, do it. I didn't, I didn't know you were alive. I never would have. I'm so sorry. No, this please. is all my fault. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Just promise me you won't let them touch. Promise me you won't let them get away with this! Oh, my God. Chloe. <laughs> I love you. Okay? Mommy loves you so much. Don't forget this. Mommy loves you so much. Okay? <laughs> Chloe, I love you. Okay? <laughs> Mommy loves you so much. What are you doing with that? Hey! God damn it, you can't do this to her! No, 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 no. Get away from me! Get away from me! No, no, no. You too, mommy. Still fine. Just like that. It doesn't hurt, does it? We need to leave. Now. You froze everyone. I'm already too drained. I can't hold this for long, okay? Then bring it back to normal. Then they'll get in. She wants to start a prison break from the inside, but she can't do it if everyone is frozen. We need to get out of here. I don't want to hide anymore. Chloe, listen to me. The bad people are outside. If anything happens to that agent out there, we are never getting out of here alive. I can save Mom. It's our last chance. Talk to the lady outside. Just pretend you're normal. What? Like you taught me. I hate to be the one to break it to you, but you really look like shit. Thanks. <laughs> Here. Hydrogen peroxide. It'll clear your eyes. You know something else? 
I got your back. And I've got a blue shirt that matches your eyes. Wow. My eyes are green, Alan. They are? But thanks. Hi. Everything okay? Sorry to bother you. I'm Special Agent Cecilia Ray, ADF. ADF? There are freaks around. Uh, they're under our control. Can I ask you some questions? Oh, well, I was just leaving, actually. I have an appointment downtown. It's important. Can I come inside? Any weapons in the house? No, uh, none that I know of. Uh, squatters have been in and out, so I don't know what they get up to. Take your glasses off. So you don't live here? Huh? Oh, uh, no. I'm just the, uh, just the owner. You know, I bought it with six other condemned shitholes. I get in there and I tear them down and I build them up. Uh, if you're in the market, let me know. Found all this stuff here this morning when I uh, came to check it out. Looks like there could have been a child here. You don't think there were freaks, do you? Could be. Abnormals are known to hide in abandoned properties like this. It's disgusting animals. Are you a father? Yeah. Yeah, yes, I am. Boy or girl? Boy. If you knew he'd be killed on sight, wouldn't you do anything you could to keep him safe? Yeah. I guess I would. I'd love to meet him. Little devil's in summer camp. Chloe. What do we do now, Mom? I need to get outside. I can't defend myself until I get outside. Can you help? Yes, Mommy. But we have to be quiet, because the bad people are here, too. OK, but Chloe, listen to me. There's not enough room for me to use my powers underground here. So we have to get out before they sound the alarm, because if it goes off, I will never be able to escape. You understand? Yes. OK, come on. So, uh, what happened across the street? The Reed family. Turns out they were abnormals. Oh, Jesus. There goes my sale price. I never, you know, thought this neighborhood would have freaks in it. Hmm. <sighs> Makes sense, though, I guess. How so? Well, you know, when I was checking out this street, I, I saw them. They were strange, you know, accusing their neighbors of stuff, lying all the time, random piles of money around the house. And you didn't report them? I didn't think they were freaks. I just thought they were assholes. But uh, I guess you really can't tell. They look just like us, right? Anyways, I really need to get to this appointment, so... Sit down. What? I know who you are. Excuse me? This house, according to city records, was foreclosed six months ago. Western Trust Bank owns it. Yeah, no, I'm actually a developer. I work with the bank. Henry, that's not the name of the bank that owns it. And I can still smell the peroxide on your face. Henry. You're Henry Lewis, right? Your wife is Mary. And I'm pretty sure your daughter is upstairs. Look, it seems to me at this point you have two options. One, you can try to kill me, at which point my colleagues will hellfire the house and we will all die. There's a Reaper 10,000 feet above us right now. Option two, and the reason I came in here alone, was to convince you that you can help Eleanor. Or Chloe, 
whatever her name is. I'm listening. Hey, Rob. Did you see the game? Dodgers are in, man. Playoffs this year. Baseball is my favorite sport. Yeah. Yeah, me too, Rob. I'm a parent, too. I know you want the best for Chloe. Half of what your neighbors say is true about her. She's remarkable and very valuable to us. Valuable. Valuable as a weapon. No, 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 no. As a, as a symbol. With us, she'd be safe. And with the right training, she could even do some good in the world. Wouldn't you want that? Would I ever get to see her again? I want to be honest with you, so that you know you can trust me. You will be killed. You will sacrifice your life for hers. But I mean, you've already been doing that, haven't you? I never wanted the world to turn her into a freak. She's just a girl. I know exactly. And you? Won't you put the gun down and do what's best for your granddaughter? A Hellfire missile takes 60 seconds from launch to strike. And he and I both know that in that 60 seconds, we can do a goddamn bunch of damage. Alan, calm down. We need more time. Think. Dr. Dolby didn't radio in after the procedure. Can you go to the uh, execution chamber and see if he's in there? Copy that. On my way. Mommy, we got to find out. Nobody move. You're not gonna shoot me. I'm coming out with a girl. No, Chloe! No! No! Chloe! No! Come on! What? Oh my God. You're freeing her. Such a waste. Don't do this. Don't you dare! Uh, uh, don't you want a normal life? Grandpa! I'm fine. Just go home to your mom.
Let's go get it done. Hostage. Move away from the house. Get away from my house, or I'm gonna melt all your brains with my freak powers! Okay, no problem, sir. We're moving back, we're moving back. I just wanna make sure my friend's okay. Just a second, honey. Find me, mommy. Yeah, I can feel you. Ah! 
to me. I will protect you from now on, okay? And we'll find a new place to hide. Hmm. I don't want to hide anymore. I'm sorry, baby, but we have to... We, have to. we can live wherever we want. And if anyone bothers us, we know how to make them stop. You ready? 